Rest and Recovery, The Unsung Heroes of Fitness. Hello, dear learners. Today, we are going to discuss a vital topic in the realm of fitness and exercise, rest and recovery. You might think that fitness is all about the exercise, the lifting, and the sweating. But in truth, an equally important part of any fitness journey involves the time when you're not actively working out. Today, we will delve into this fascinating topic and introduce some essential fitness terminology related to rest and recovery. First things first, what do we mean by rest and recovery? Simply put, it is the time that you allow your body to heal and rejuvenate after a workout. This is when the real magic happens. Your muscles rebuild, your energy stores are replenished, and your body gets stronger and fitter. The words, rest, and recovery, might sound similar, but they have slightly different meanings in the fitness world. Rest generally refers to the short breaks you take between sets or exercises during a workout, or the sleep you get each night. Recovery, on the other hand, refers to the actions you take and the time you allow for your body to repair and strengthen itself between workouts. Now that we understand what rest and recovery are, let's look at some specific terms you might come across. Active recovery. This refers to doing light, low-intensity exercises on your rest days. Active recovery might include activities like stretching, walking, or yoga. Passive recovery. This is when you take complete rest with no exercise. You might use this time to get extra sleep or simply relax. Deload. In fitness, deloading refers to a period of reduced training intensity or volume. This usually lasts for a week and allows the body to recover. Overtraining. This is when you don't allow your body enough recovery time. Overtraining can lead to a decline in performance and even injuries. Rest day. This is a day off from training, allowing your body to recover. Understanding and respecting the importance of rest and recovery is crucial to any fitness journey. Without it, we risk overtraining, injuries, and burnout. We also miss out on the benefits that recovery brings. When our bodies repair the damage from a workout, they actually build stronger, fitter tissues in response. That's why recovery is where the real gains are made. And that's it for today's video. Remember, while exercise is undoubtedly essential, taking time for rest and recovery is just as important. Listen to your body. Give it the time it needs to repair and grow. And you'll see the benefits in your performance and overall health. We hope you found this video helpful and that it has given you a deeper understanding of some common fitness terminology related to rest and recovery. We'll see you in the next video, where we'll continue our journey into the fascinating world of fitness. Happy learning!